Hi everyone, welcome back again to Spiritual Growth Tarot and Astrology. I'm Denise. Uh, no astrology today. I'm going to use cards and I want to check in and see if Fonnie Willis is going to be successful uh, with bringing RICO charges against Trump. So anyway, let me swap out cameras here and uh, check this out. <laughs> be right back. Okay, so before I get into the dumpster's reading, I wanted you guys to know that this isn't a coffin, it's a dumpster. And this is where he lives, and has wheels. <laughs> uh, here's my sticker I put on the dumpster. <laughs> my intention there. And, um, and then thanks to Tia, she gave me the idea to um, paint his face orange. So now we have that. <laughs> Anyway, all right, there, there's my uh, playful mess for the day. Um, so I'm using the uh, Golden Dreams, when I'm on. And like I said, the question is, does Fonnie Willis have enough, or will she be successful? <clears throat> Excuse me, is the better question. Will she be successful uh, in... Rico charges, racketeering influence, corrupt organization charges, which are big. You know, they're big because when you get one, you get all the fish along with it. It's not just one person. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> so we can expect a lot if this is the case. Um, and, you know, of course... She's only in charge of Fulton County, but in Georgia, but um, she announced a while back, not too long ago, that um, she was expanding her um, election interference um, probe to, um, to to go outside of her state, right? So we're talking the whole big picture of the 2020 election interference. So, okay, so let's see, let me tune in. So I'm gonna break a couple rule, well, a one rule. Usually the man and woman are, um, you know, people in um, relationship. I'm, I'm going to assign, if the woman card comes through, I'm going to assign that as being Fonnie Willis's card, and if the man comes through, it'll be Trump. With the Lenamon, it's easy to get, you know, yes and no cards, but so let's look, let's look to, let's bring the question into focus as to, uh, will she be successful? And I'm going to do 21 cards. I have the camera up quite high, so uh, we'll do a little mini grand tableau. Oh man, she's she's on fire. <laughs> she's I just heard her say I've been so patient. Man, that's right. She's gone through a lot to get here. Okay, right there. Okay, so the whoa, look at this, you guys. Give me a moment. Let me just lay these all out here. So there he is. That might be him getting batted out or having some trouble there. Okay, so there's five, six. Actually, I do need to go over a little. My camera tends to cut off that right side. Okay. All right, so that, that should do it. All right, so that top row is very revealing. Yeah. Time's coming for him. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, so Rico charges or not. Or how successful will Fonnie Willis be uh, bringing him down? Actually, do I have to go up a little? Dang, I thought I put this tripod up high enough. Uh, uh, uh. Barely. The, my, at the edge of my table is like right here. <laughs> oh, I 
through there. Okay. All right. So, um, right, right in the the center here with the scythe. This is in the Lenamon. It's our card for decisions. So, yeah, she's been working hard at clearing out the riffraff, clearing out. Um, so decisions, clearing, skimming information, and here he is, and this could be skimming as, um, as uh, you know, money launderers do, right? Um, yeah, but I think she's she's made a decision. Now her card didn't come through here, but his his did. So but right here at the just opening up the reading with the coffin, there's a painful loss and an ending for him coming for him. Um, it's already happened in the past, but it, they've been working on a way to prove it. And she's so some good news is gonna come out with the writer as to uh, clarity and decisions that she's been able to make. This is the number one yes card in the deck. The sun would also be a yes card. Oh, and it's right here. Yeah. Uh, this is our card. Well, hold on. Let me let's let's stay. Let me do this nine box little spread right here because this is right in the center. I. So, like I said, important. A solution to clear out his risky behavior. The tower card is very different than the, in the tarot. The tower and the Lenamon has to do with a, a government institution, or this in this case it could even be Trump Towers, you know, Trump's institution. Uh, it's our card for, well, boundaries too, you know. Um, but being in authority. So this is her authority making a decision, and it could be two also uh, besides, uh, you know, clearing out the risky behavior of, a, of, of the possibility of another Trump presidency. Um, I mean, you know, he could run while he's in prison or locked up if he doesn't take off to Saudi Arabia. Either way, he's doomed. Um, but anyway, okay, so back to... It could be two different ways she gets them besides RICO charges. And this could also be another state because the house card could be our card for states because we have the authority of the states, the authority of the established uh, foundation of authority, right? So this would be her in Georgia and any state that's trying to... Uh, well, any state that's wise to his uh, baloney and has, yeah, here we go. Both of these cards have to do with choices. So a turning point, crossroads. This is also, the crossroads card is also um, alternative routes. Uh, and it, it's a card that has to do with... Um, Sometimes distractions. So I think that this is part of what she was up against, like all these different issues she had to go through with attorneys. And remember, this is the second, you know, we had the special grand jury trial that uh, Judge McBurney oversaw. And this will be her second. Um, and she remember back when she said uh, decisions are, are imminent. And, and then we've been waiting and waiting and waiting. So... If she can get him on RICO charges, that would be the reason why she had to wait. Besides, she did have trouble with attorneys. Um, so anyway, but decision here, decision here, turning point here. She's had to, um, you know, she's time's a waste and she has to make a decision and get this going because we really are getting right up against the edge. And we have been for so long. So she's been working hard to move things forward. We have good news coming in about the work. But also this is his abuses. The broom uh, whip card is a card of abuse sometimes. It's also a card of actions, though. So painful 
uh, loss and ending for this man because of his actions in the past. So the news is going to bring that out. And um, the institutions of, of uh, states, I keep getting states with this card, uh, the foundational um, choices that need to be made in order to preserve uh, our election. So now I'll... And I've already done these opening cards. Let's do the four corners. So for Fani, I'm thinking with the moon card because it's surrounded by timing cards and the letter card is also a news card. It also would have to do with all the data that has been scraped and skimmed over time to get what she needs. <laughs> My goodness, yeah. Uh, so with the, the moon here, I'm thinking that it's probably this month or within, you know, 28 days from, you know, maybe a couple days ago. Let, let's say by the end of the month, hopefully by the end of June. Uh, it will end. She's going to, you know, bring this to a close. So uh, I guess that's when the grand jury would start. I'm sure if I did a Kipper reading, and I could always, you know, add on and do that later, but... Uh, I'm going to stick with this for now because uh, the Lenamon is very situational. And we do have the Primo legal card come through right here. So these are this is legal news that will be coming out about her actions. And this is yes, she's clear. There's a couple of things going on she's going to get him for. And yeah, and then over here, secrets are going to come out with the book secrets and where he has been hiding. Uh, our magic lamp card in this deck is his wishful thinking. And, uh, but then again, she this could be her, it can be vision. So she, this could be her secret vision. And with the stork, then we have um, repairing things that, that could, um, could have been very problematic. It's also a card of um, taking action, making big changes. It's primarily a card of change, but I, I heard the word repairing, repairing the past. Yeah, wow, okay. And I think I'll bring it further into the corners here. So within 30 days or so, we have, and, and I'm gonna play off of this center card here and bring tie this together probably by the end of the month we'll have her successful paperwork coming forward. You know, you can pretend this is the court card because we have the tower up here. The court card in the um, kipper, you know, with the guy holding the papers, bringing things forward. The discovery that's happened over time, time's a wasting, it's all about him. And uh, she has been able to uh, bring through information. She's, you know, like sniffed it, literally, look at that, it's going together, the air at the top of the tower coming out in the nose up here. Fox is all about, you know, nose and sniffing things out. It's also a card of, so we have secrets here, but secret fraud, scam, this would be literally be legal RICO charges here. And she's, she's been sniffing it all out, uh, the tree card, I, I know I'm supposed to stick here, but that tree card here is really important because um, this shows the investments that he's always been, you know, playing around with. Uh, the, you know, we've got, I don't have the fish card here to really speak to money laundering, but this is this reading is more about what she is going to get him for. And this would be his system, his illegal, fraudulent organization, and she is organized to the max with uh, everything that she needs here, I think, is what this is saying. This is also our card for karma in the, the Linamon. So she's been, you know, this is very karmic for him. Um, yeah, and it's also one of our, for, for timing, it, it can take quite some time, but it's also often a card for within six to 12 months, but I, I would let it go beyond that because um, these things take a, ma a major amount of time, these grand jury trials. 
uh, with a keyhole card, so this bringing this three together, so she's going to bring through some change. She's had a secret vision. She knew where she was headed, but she didn't want to say anything. I think she wanted to keep quiet about it. Um, instincts, both of these cards relate to instincts that can be trusted that she's had to bring in this positive change. With the scythe knighting to Trump, the fox, the scam artist, uh, and he's he's been successful in the past, but for now with the sun, this is shining a light, this shining a spotlight. It's a big yes card. This is a big yes card as to what she's going to um, bring through. Big yes, re yes to Rico charges is what I'm getting. And this card also shines light on all the cards nearby. Well, nearby, it's what he's done with his, he nights down here at the moon, what he's done with his family and his uh, ability to uh, finance things creatively <laughs> through money laundering, right? Hide things. And, and it's also his public reputation. His public reputation is going to be going through great change. I mean, I, how could it get worse? But it will. It will. And um, his emotional makeup, you know, all he... Just wait a while and he'll say the thing that that sinks him right I uh, so the lights going to shine it's going to be successful for her decision and now knighting down here and to, to his fraud right and then knighting down here to this the keyhole card I um, uh, this is like the coffin an ending uh, <laughs> With the cards surrounding it, yeah, end, ending the subterfuge, the hiding, the, the painful loss because of his karma, his riskiness, and the information is going to be coming out all about that. Um, she, But it also does show that she, well, it could be that in the future, there's going to be a hard time uh, making decisions, but she'll get it done. She'll, she'll get it done because we have timing and decision and so many positive cards over here. Um, I don't like that he's up at the top. It makes it look like he has power over things, but uh, you know, opening the, read the first three cards out of the gate are really important. And to ha for him to have the coffin and the broom card right there, wow. It's like, you know, a painful loss and an ending. You, you know, here, here we go back to the dumpster. Well, let's just put them in there, close the lid, and, um, and she's just going to whoop upside the head with the broom. <laughs> or if it's a whip, you're not getting away with it anymore. So I feel like this is the the energy. So think of the tap roots of a ginormous, you know, any type of a tree, banyan, oak, what no matter what it is, large trees have a big tap root and they suck the water out from all around. And so we've got I think we have a loss here as to his ability ability to um suck the energy out of all of our legal institutions that, I mean, well, but these, that's the problem, you know, taxpayers pay for all of this. He's been so much more costly to the, to the United States than we will ever be able to uh, keep track of. So, yeah, she's going to be settling issues with um, important people to help her get this done. Yes, and they will be negotiating and speaking about it over this next month. She's bringing things to a close. And and the way what she's doing the way it's going to affect him is all over here, big change. You know, bringing everything out to light. The book is our card for secrets, but it's also uh, knowledge. And, you know, something is hidden, but then we're also going to be educated. And in this deck, I, I do like that the um, 
you know, the, the, the book's open, well, this one at least is open, and there's all this light. You know, we will be enlightened somehow by her and her team. I feel drawn back to this keyhole card there. I don't feel complete. Um, this card, you know, because with the keyhole, it's like there is, there's the light that comes out. You just have to get through. So it's a card of where with the coffin, it, the lid's closed. It's a painful ending and loss, and that's where he is. This one is more transitory. So she's going to be, I feel like she's really going to be navigating, and but creating a lot of change. And bottom line, I always tend to read this last card here as the answer card. And this is a card of improvements and change. And the improvement and change is coming from the sucking va vampire known as Trump uh, and his fraudulent uh, authority that has um, been such a stench on our nation since uh, since he ran 2015. Yeah. So, yeah, I think that's it. I'm going to go ahead and get this uploaded. I I don't know if I well, I haven't I haven't done the book ending. Oh, now well, actually if I do that quickly, I'll just book on the four corners here. Um So pain, painful loss and ending and the secrets are out. I'm getting with that. Uh, and then uh, his reputation is uh, changed for for the worse, right? Yeah. So okay, I I feel complete. But if you guys want to add in, you know, because I've basically not knighted every single for knighting, it's uh, one over. Well, one over and two up. So like this, or two over and one up, so like this. But you could take any card and knight together. All right, so maybe there's two ways that we have change and improvement coming through in the future. Because I tend to look at the left as the past and the right as the future. Center can be the present time. Yeah, so okay. Yeah, other than that, I'm seeing, you know, more information, action, because more information keeps coming out, and then it gives her more um, leeway as to knowing which way to go, you know. It's kind of like imagine you're navigating with a GPS, and you, it's, you're waiting for the information to come through, and then you know which way to turn. I think that's what she's been doing there. Yeah. Okay. All right, you guys, take good care. <laughs> Bye.